Hello folks, Farmer Envoy here, and this time we're going to be looking at is the spindery and taste store worth doing in Farm Sim 25. And I'm doing these two productions together because these two productions are very much intertwined. So you need spindery to process your wool and cotton to get fabric. Then we shipped over here to the tailor store to get some nice these pants here. So we got some delicious cotton, not cotton clothes here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a spreadsheet up now. But what I'm going to do is go over these processes because this is why cotton, spinnery and tailor and all that other good stuff is really worth doing in farm cinema in general. And especially in FS25 where we've got all these new crops and that. Some of them are worth it, others aren't so much, but yeah, so let's go over these, shall we? So right, first of all we're going to do is, as I'm putting this cotton in, so how do you get the starting item? So even to get clothes, you're going to need either wool or cotton. So cotton on its own can be harvested via a cotton bader, so we've got two baders in-game, and fortunately at the moment, before giants get their hands on this and break the harvesters like they did in FS22, you can unload partial bells. And yeah, these are very expensive, so this is why I recommend the case. Because, well, I think with the John Deere one, apparently there's been worth some ports of bugs, especially with the contracts and that. But I have not gone and see those, so... But anyway, so I'm going to go with the case. Lease it for, what, 24000 initially? 10000 an hour may seem a bit steep. But trust me, you can make absolute millions with this, so... Going back to the spreadsheet net, so... Obviously, the average price for likes of cotton is £3,860 per thousand years. For your wool, which you get from the sheeps and that, that can get you 2950 on average. Of course, yeah, price fluctuations is a thing, and what I'll do, I'll show you these as I'm talking through. So yeah, looking at cotton, lowest 3300 highest 4000 That's why I went with the average price of 3800 because that bar graph does dip between June, July, August, but running it around about September and that, that's pretty much right. So like at the moment, we're in January and the price is 3,844 and 3,893. Yes, I am on easy economy, but still, even on easy economy, things can be still pretty challenging in FS22 or FS25, should I say. And then yeah, going down to wool. So wool in this whole process is the lower utility potentially in that so what i mean by that is because wool ain't really required too much in the production i'll go over this in a sec but yeah looking at average prices at the moment we're looking at about 2600 but yeah this is on the lower end graph so things like wool knife can sit on your own without having to deal with productions so around march to about may time that's gonna be a good price and even February, even now, could be still a good price up potentially. At the end of the day, it's down to you whether or not you want to sell these and that. But yeah, so looking at our productions and that, so I got spinnery here. So you've got two recipes, fabric cotton and fabric wool. So for cotton, it's a 9 to 3 ratio at 2,400 cycles per month. So that will require 21,600 years of cotton a month. And the maximum output is 7,200. Average sale price for the fabric is 12,332. So on average, over the course of a year per month for that, you can get a potential income of 88,790 pounds. Obviously this is based on the average price. If you can store these, I recommend some at the peak where you can get an extra thousand per thousand years and that or give or take. Actually, no, for cotton, no, for fabric, that's about 15,000 for a thousand a year. So we'll have a look at that in a sec. But yeah, how does that transform over a year at 88,000 liters, or sorry, 88,000 pounds a month? That is a yearly profit of 100, sorry, 1,065,484. So so that will require, as a total input to actually make this worthwhile, is 259,200 litres of cotton. 
Now you may think, 260,000 years of cotton may seem like a lot, and that it is, so... Obviously with cotton, now if you're using seasons, you can grow it once a year. If you're not using seasons, cotton can be harvested at every 8 months. It is the, I think besides from poplar, it is one of the longest growing crops along with canola, if I recall correctly. So yeah, you get just over about a, one harvest a year, but when doing it over at say, 3 years, 24 months and that, you can get 3 harvests rather than 2 harvests with, his, with seasons, if that makes sense. So, over long term, cotton will, will be worth it. So, in terms with the yieldage per hectare, now I've done a bit of testing on this, so the reason why I've got this PD up here because, let's look at my notes, the yieldage for cotton at 100% effectiveness, so that is the 100% bonus, so that requires liming, rolling, mulching, and all that other good stuff, you'll need 26.4 hectares of land in order to produce that much cotton, and in terms with land, I'm on Hoons and Pantai, and what I've got done on my test map is Merchant Field, so 8, 9, 12. You're going to need that field, along with fields 1 and 2, so 1 and 2. When you get those fields merged together in that, that gives you 24 hectares, so you're still going to need another 2 hectares, so something like potentially fields 77 and 33. Or, sorry, 39. Or even just heck it. Field 3 as well. Let's go with that. So, 1, 2, 3, 8, 9, and 12. You're going to need all those fields to have the amount of coal you're going to need a year. And, especially compared to grapes now that I just looked at. So, obviously, I am recording this off the back of that video now. So, that is worth it. Moving on to the wall now. So, again, we're going to look at the recipes and that. So, for wool, it's a 3 to 1 ratio at 1,440 litres a month. So over the course of a year, you're going to need just shy of 52,000 litres. Over the course of a year, monthly, that is 4,320 litres of wool. Haven't done any animal testing yet, but as far as I'm aware, that is still a very... I'm thinking you need about a couple of hundred, uh, what's it, sheep in that, so... But yeah, in terms of the output, it's obviously, since it's one year fabric, it's 1,440 litres of fabric. So the fabric on its own is only worth 17,758 over the course of a month. So annually that is 212,976, so that is a fifth what you can get from cotton and that. But still, even just with the wool though, you can still make a tiny profit of, yeah, 212 grand a year. And if you want, you can transfer it to the taste store, which I'm going to look at now. So, taste store is where you get your clothes. And, again, with FS22, clothes was one of the king productions to do. And it's still going to be the same in FS25. Obviously, at the moment, I'm going to just start my testing on this. So, we're a week into the game. I don't have any mods that's going to help me with this. I'm not on PC. I'm on console. So... I you know, I just can't cheat in, you know, pallets and productions all within the net. I can't cheat, feels ready to go. So yeah, this does require a lot of testing, but from what I can show you so far, as far as I can gather that, from looking at the other productions in some sort of pre-testing stuff and that, clothes is going to be worth it. I haven't done any ranking or what's worth the most in that. If I don't do it, I'm sure like I'll Drive 53 Games is going to do it before I do. But anyways, with the tailors, yeah, with the tailor store, so obviously you can see we've got some clothes here. It's a 2 to 1 ratio, 2,400 cycles per month, so if we go around here, but also I've got to say, look at these buildings, are absolutely nice. Now you've got the caution, watch your step, please use the other door. And actually, you can actually see inside the buildings, there aren't, you know, like 2D textures and that, these do have a 3D aspect to it, so... That I do like. But anyway, so yeah, we're closing that. You can get 4,800 litres of fabric a month. In terms of what you need, need in terms of the fabric and that, you need 9,600 litres of fabric a month. So, going back to our spinnery for a sec, for the wool and that, 
Your maximum output for the wall is 1,440. So yeah, just have to sort of make sure my notes here. So yeah, you get 1,440 liters of fabric a month from the wool, wool fabric. For the cotton fabric, you get 7,200. So in total, that is 8,640 you can get out in the course of a month through both of these. So that is both of these using at the same time. So you will need maybe that one extra spinnery, or actually I have not had a look. So terms with what we can have on the cheap in that, because you can have some cheap production. So yeah, you can have the, the cheap spinnery. So, so right, yeah, I got the cheaper productions down. Now, yeah, again, I have forgotten in FS25, this is a new thing, but obviously, at the end of the day, if you want to make money, and this is a production is worth investing in, so if we go into, if I can find it, saw me on note, spinnery, yep, so that is 180 grand, and the tailors is 240 grand, so in total you're looking at 300, 440,000 up front, yeah, it may seem a bit expensive cost, but anyways, back to the spinnery now, so as far as I'm aware, this is going to be like a tenth. So yeah, this is a temp, so we got 8,640, we're going to need another 1,000, so again you need either, what, you're going to need one of, oh, sorry, two of these, sorry, just look at my notes. Yeah, so you're going to need two of the small ones to keep up the input of the tape saw and that. But, saying that, it all depends on the input requirements, because... Over the course of a year, the tailor's going to need 115,000 years of fabric a month. Sorry, over the course of a year, sorry. Not a month, yearly. Sorry, apologies, Sarah. Yeah, again, I have to check my notes because one section in the table I did miss to put in whilst I was pre sending this up, but I'm going to include it in the table I'm showing you. So, when you're looking at the annual outputs, sorry, annual outputs and that, so. For cotton fabric, that is 86,400. For the fabric for the wool, now that is 17,280. We compare that to the small ratios of a 2 to 1 at 4,800 euros per month for the taste store to get, you know, for the fabric requirements. The taste store only requires 57,600, so. Maybe initially, the math may be a bit off now, but over the course of time, it's going to be worth having two spinneries for every tier store you've got in-game. Because once you add the annual outputs for the fabric from the one spinnery, you're going to need two tier stores, because that is, what, 80, 90, 103,000? So, two tier stores can handle 114, so... Yeah, it ain't going to be fully saturated, fully optimised, but again, for a tape store now, 240 grand, but yeah, it may seem like a lot of money. From looking at your outputs profit-wise, so again, for just one fabric, or sorry, one tailor now, using this ratio here of a 2 to, two to 1 or 4 to 2 ratio now, may have said, a 2 to 1, I meant 4 to 2, sometimes I just simplify things in my calculations. But yeah, from one taste store, on Easy Economy, you can have a net profit of 1.51 million a year. So, having two taste stores, just under 3 million, we include that less of a bottleneck. So in total, even just, say, forget about having any additional productions, now, just using one of each, you're going to have a total profit of 1.5 mil from the clothes alone. And again, that is on the average price because if we have a look here, we're going to find clothes ain't worth just, you know, 12,000. No, no, no. Oh, sorry, 26,200. Yeah, clothes is worth not just 26,200. If you save it and sell it in like so March, April or May, you can have 32 grand, 33 grand. And once you include the 20% of great demand potentially, that's another 6,000 on top. So potentially you could be looking at 40,000 pounds per 
had it of these clues you've got here and that. So, this is why, again, having two of these, yeah, again, maybe a heavy upfront cost, but over time, you're going to be absolutely making millions. Like I said, just under 3 million. Once you include the fact that the second tape store ain't going to be fully optimized, but if you have, again, more spinneries, some of these small ones, then, yeah, go for it. And, yeah, doing some cheeky math, you can figure out how to fully optimize two tape stores, but, so, overall, is it worth doing? Uh, definitely, yes, making 3 million a year. Okay, yeah, 3 million is like cleaning expenses for things like equipment and that, so... Obviously, we looked at... Let's go over the price for the harvester and that, so... Let's say if you're a John Deere fan, let's say 850 grand. 850, 900, 1.1 mil. Uh, let's say frigate, 1.3 mil. You're still going to have double your money. Sorry, yeah, 1.3 mil, you're going to make that money back in one year. And if you're selling some of the excessive fabric and that, from the cotton fabric and that, you can easily negate over 2 million a year. So, overall, do cotton, do wool and that, use spinnery, use clothes factory, and you can get yourself 3 million pounds a year easily. Uh, do you mean easy by simple? Use a bit of math, use your noggin, heck it, even have a lee. Least some, well, at least some money, get a loan from the bank now because that is upwards of 3 million you can have in game. And these little gems can be worth 40 grand per pallet. So, yeah, what are you waiting for? Get out on there and do some clothes. But, anyways, that's gonna be for me for today, so let's turn it off. And again, I don't know, do know what's going on at the bottom of my screen here. Uh, red dot light, and uh, what looks like a candle matches. Again, I do not know. Game's been out for a week and still got some of these little bugs and that. But, anyways, hope you found this helpful and informative in some way, shape, or form. If so, smash the button, fill the like down below. If you will share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But, for what you to do, hope you nice stay. But for now, it's me, Farmer, Envoy Stream, and I'll see you all very soon.